I think I have to wait. June just gonna have a hard time finding a new crew to get cars for him. Voyager took over Pops Holland's territory. <laughs> Junior's not gonna like you putting hands on his own man. Okay. Didn't even, didn't even need to do that. Not my fault. If dipshits are gonna leave gas in their fucking tank, of course I'm gonna hey, take it. That That's my shit. godly duty where I see it. We got another man. We're looking down. Oh, so that's all I needed to do. It's really disappointing you blow up some really nice cars. Young is looking pretty fuck now, isn't he? You got that little speed freak junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best of him. Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. Yeah, and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Junior's a dirty, backstabbing piece of shit. Go get him. Can I borrow one of your cars? No, I want to keep using this one. I like this one. I don't know why. That was wrong, that was wrong button as well. Ow.
Circle round him. We got ourselves a guest. gonna hold tick for a harbor i'm gonna need some of your guys okay my boys are gonna come over make sure it's all nice and locked down but i ain't doing it as a favor i expect you to look out for me remember we're supposed to take down marcano together The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Lincoln, you a White Walls man? I'm thinking probably not. <laughs> no, I'm not a White Walls man, though. There we go. Kill Frank Pagani. I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. Wait, what? Stuff back there. Counterfeit money. A press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Yeah, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. 
Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? Morgana wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, how? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. Uh. I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but there's something. I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf. And in the end, my decision is final. Well, hear this, Lincoln. You can make any final decisions you want to make. But splitting the action in one of these districts between my men and theirs ain't happening. This turf comes to me. Why, boys, are your problem? Jesus, shut the fuck up. My guys aren't down there boozing with the neighbors or igniting some kind of race war. They're making money. For you. That's all that matters. So forget all this hippie bullshit and let's get to work. Ain't too late to change your mind, lad. I can handle both rockets without any of the bitch on these two got going on right now. This one's all you, Bert. We ain't your private army sitting around waiting to lock shit down when you need us. We got expectations. Expectations that you were sadly falling short of. This the kind of shit that breaks the spirit of folk. You do well to keep that in mind. Can't wait to get started on her, on everyone that comes after her as well. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so he could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer, a leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. <laughs> According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. I get my hands on it. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. 